the in an hour from now to launch his continental campaign for the African Union Commission chairmanship candidacy at Addis Ababa in Ethiopia. And according to the Odinga campaign secretariat, the event that is to be attended by African diplomats and other regional representatives will give him an opportunity to unveil his vision and priorities for the African continent in line with the AUC or the AU uh, agenda, that is 2063. Uh, Odinga is facing competition from his main challenger, Djibouti Foreign Affairs Minister Mahmoud Yusuf, who has the backing of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation Countries. The other two candidates are from Madagascar and Mauritius. 1.4 billion. The next 30 more years, one third of the population is going to be living on this continent. And Africa is the richest continent on the planet Earth in terms of resources. The paradox is the richest resource of the poorest in terms of living conditions of its people. This is what we need to be dealing with. And if we deal with that, Africa will rise. And tomorrow I'll be telling you a story of the African lion. And this message to the other animals. So I don't want to preempt what I'm going to say tomorrow. I've acted as high, high representative on infrastructure on the continent. If you don't address infrastructure, then the bureaucracies which the president is talking about, the non-tariff barriers that we have put against each other, will not be able to benefit from the potential that we have as a continent of Africa. Well, all the best.